Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jose. Good evening, teacher. Right, good evening, Jonathan. Good to hear from you guys. How was your day? Uh, are you at home already? Ya están en casa? Or are you on your way home? Or todavía van de camino? I have a dinner. Yeah, you're having dinner? Okay, enjoy it, Carlos. In my house. Good evening. In your house already? Good to hear that, LB. That's good. <laughs> That's great. How was your day? <laughs> Looking that expression, it was like kind of difficult. Commentary, my kind, kind of difficult. <laughs> Yeah, man, we had those days, right, that uh, super tiring, you got a lot of things to do, uh, and how, yeah, you know, like, like, a lot the of things. besides that, on the way home, you had to face the traffic and everything, ah, uh, that's horrible, that must be horrible, but you work eight hours a day, Elvi, or, or, or what is your schedule at work? Generalmente, ¿cuál es su, uh, su horario laboral? Eh, creo que... Eh. ¿Es específico? <risa> ¿Es, ¿Es específico o es cambiante? Es específico. El detalle es que como trabajo en ventas y, ah. y a veces me toca la tarde ir a dejar productos a los clientes uh, o sí. para ayudarles a los clientes. Y uh -huh. me voy temprano porque como mi hija está en quinto año de medicina, me toca estarla llevando a los hospitales. Uh -huh. A veces al psiquiátrico, a veces al Rosales, a veces al Bloom. Pues... Entonces es un poco bien cansadito. Sí, yes. yeah, really uh -huh. difficult. Bastante difícil. Ah. Well, but anyways, the good thing is that you are in your house now, like... Sí. And I like that's 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 nice, right? Más que me acabo back. de caer, <laughs> me caí ahorita. Really? Bajando las escaleras de la casa. Uh, me duele el pie, pero. Oh, no descansancio. No. Ojalá y no se lo haya no se lo haya lastimado, porque sí esas caídas por lo general eh, suelen. El tobillo me doblé nada más, pero mi hijo bajó rapidito y me puso. Metilo y una venda porque si sí me doy el tobillo, me duele. Bueno, ya va a pasar. Ojalá que el dolor sí, es temporal. Ojalá que sí. Ojalá que sí. Sí. Es bueno, I mean, you're en tu casa, as the rest of your classmates. All right, so uh, we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. Ahora tenemos uh, un, un tema diferente, uh, like in comparison to the one that we were practicing yesterday. Uh, we're gonna make a short review from that topic. And then we are going to start with the topic that we got for today. But I'm going to pass the attendance list just to start, okay? Let's start over. It says Carlos Mauricio, is he here? Carlos, all right, come here. Uh, Cindy Melanie. Hello, teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, LB Quintanilla. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Ah, you're in your house already. Cool. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, Gustavo Adolfo. No, Gustavo. Okay, cool. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jorge Alberto. Jorge, are you there? Present ah, Okay, okay. I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. Okay, Jorge. Uh, let's see. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Jose Edgar. Okay, yeah, man. Present, present. Okay, mister. Thank you. Juan Emanuel. Okay, Emanuel is not here. Let's continue. Hey, teacher, Juan... no había podido conectar. Ah, okay, Carlos. 
No problem, ya lo voy a incluir a la lista. No, no me aceptaba el código a saber por qué, pero hasta ahorita no lo acepté. Ajá, de veras. Sí, a veces suele pasar. Uh -huh. Lo bueno es que ya okay. se pudo conectar. Right? That's the good thing. Ok, bueno. Cool. Uh, Juan Gilberto. No, here yet. All right. Let's continue. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Llego. <laughs> ok, ok. Nice. Julio César. Julio César. No, it's not here. Hey, a lot of people are missing. Karen Beatriz. Mira, yeah, Karen. Jesus. Karen. Ah, Luis Gerardo. Ok, no here yet. Verónica Arely. Present. What's up, lady in red? <laughs> ok, good. Let's see. Wendy Jamilet. Presente. Ok, perfect. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Let's move. Xiomara Elizabeth. Ok, she's not here. Uh, Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Ok, excellent. Carlos Jose. Ok, teacher, present. Very nice. And the last one, soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Justo. <laughs> excellent. Hey. You're getting connected, right? Se va conectando justo a tiempo. Sí, es ahorita. <laughs> ok. Great. There you go. Ok, so we're going to start with the things that we got for, for tonight, people. All right. What was the main topic that we were discussing yesterday? Vamos a comenzar con una breve retroalimentación de la clase pasada. ¿Cuál era el tema principal de la clase pasada? Let's see. Can somebody tell me what was the name of the topic that we were discussing last class? Imperatives. Now, okay, cool. Imperatives. And what is an imperative? Eh, como dar un mandato, algo así. Okay, like when you give a command, when you give an order, right? About something, like to do something, right? Like, for example, if I tell you guys, turn on your cameras. Turn off the microphone. So those ones are imperatives, right? Because I am giving you an instruction or basically I am giving you an order for you to do, right? Or when you tell your kids, turn off the lights, go to sleep, right? Make the bell, right? Like, ah, arregle su cama and everything, right? So that is an imperative. Yesterday, we were practicing like the most common ones that you generally practice in your house, in your work, and everything, right? So, but those, those ones are like, like, like the most important, right? the most important things. Ahora bien, por lo general, ¿cuál es ese imperativo o, ese, o esa orden que ustedes comúnmente dan? ¿Qué es normal para ustedes? ¿O qué usan más, por así decirlo? Right? In my case, for example, in my case, right, since I am a teacher and I have to be teaching English almost like the whole day, my, my, I mean, the imperative that I use the most is like, hey, speak English, right? Speak English in the class. So in that case, I mean, that, that's, that's one very, very common imperative that I generally use, you know, with, with my students, especially the ones who, don't like that much to speak English in the class, right? But what about you? For example, William, what is the imperative that you use the most? Call call the clients. Call the clients. Uh, check the report. Ah, okay. And send the email. Ah, okay. All right. Those ones are like the most common for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, okay, All right, perfect. Good. Am I Joe? Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, very good. Uh, Veronica, how about you? ¿Cuáles son esos o ese imperativo que usa más? In my house, 
off the light or close the door. Okay, close the door. <laughs> close the door, the dog is out. <laughs> Cierra la puerta, se va a salir el perro. <laughs> nah, man, especially when you have dogs, tantito abre la puerta y el perro sale en quinta vez. Yeah, para los que tienen, los que viven en ciudad y los, los perritos nomás abren la puerta, man, and just like, they are flying. Cool. How about you, Carlos Chavez? What are the ones that you use the most? Hurry up. <laughs> okay, that's the one that, that, that you use the most, right? All right, like, hey, like, hurry up. Hey, put it, right? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Zoila, how about you? Um, send email. Send email? Clean, clean the house. Okay. Uh, wash, the, wash the dishes. Ah, okay. Close the doors. Close the door. Ah, okay, cool. That's another one. Very, very nice. Uh, Ivania, how about you? ¿Cuáles son esos que usted usa más? Siente que es, ya es normal, like every day. Chico report, send email. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, send report. Write report. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right, those ones are like the most common for you. Ok, perfect. Elvi, how about you? Uh, tour of the life. Ok. Check my, my check, no, no, send emails. Ok. Visit a client. Mm, ok, cool. So those ones are like the ones, right? Perfect. Uh, Mr. Gamero, how about you? In my house, go to the sleep at 9 p.m. Okay. In my job, please check the water tanker. Mm, okay, all right. There you go. There is a cool. Michelle, and you? No, a Michelle le vamos a decir, no lo que usted usa, sino lo que a usted, a los que a usted le dan en su casa. En mi casa. Yes. Eh, ¿Qué le dice su mami o su papi? Cook the dinner. <laughs> cook the dinner. Okay. Eh, también cook the sí, lunch. Que, why always me? ¿Por qué siempre yo? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice lavar traste? Lava traste. Wash the dishes o oh, do the dishes. Ay, no le escucho. Wash the dishes, o también puede decir do the dishes. Hola, no escuché, teacher. Uh, ¿Los demás me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Ah, okay. es, 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 son las barritas de mi internet. <risa> no, pero ahorita está escuchando, Michelle. Sí, hoy sí. All right. Para decir lava trastes. Ok, hay dos formas. Uh -huh. Wash the dishes, que es lo más común, pero también existe una expresión que es do the dishes, que también significa lavar los trastes. Y di dishes, S-H-E. Eh, lo voy a escribir en el chat ahorita. Ah, vaya. Okay. Wash the dishes or do the dishes. Like this. Right, both, both, both uh, ways are possible. Uh -huh. Okay, ambas formas son, son correctas, right? Entonces sería cook the dinner, wash the dishes. Uh -huh. eh, en mi trabajo, don't eat. Ay, no. <laughs> you like eating in your job? <laughs> Ese es mi trabajo. Y... Sin check. Así es, pero firma check. Sign, sign check. Sign check. Yeah, sign, sign checks. Oh, sign check. Pre acceptable. Pre acceptable. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Let's see. Okay. One last, one last one participation. Una última participación. Uh, Jose Elgar. What are those uh, commands or orders that you generally give in your house? 
Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué hago? No, ¿Cuáles son ese, esas órdenes que usted por lo general eh, suele dar en su casa? Ya sea a sus hijos o, o a alguien más o a su trabajo. Teacher. Es por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, eh, basically you give the verb and then the complement. Simplemente es dar un verbo y un pequeño complemento que, que tenga relación con ese verbo. Por ejemplo, Edward, si usted ve que su hijo no quiere comer, y usted le dice, eat. Por ejemplo, like, eat pizza. Ah, ya, yeah, ese es un comando, esa es una orden. Right? Like, ah, come la pizza. pizza. Así. Exacto. Pero me refería, me refería más que todo al, al trabajo. No sabría cómo decirle, como digamos, Cristian, eh, al uh, do, do, do you report? Ah, en eh, ese caso, eh, listen, listen, listen. In that case, en ese caso es, es, es igual, casi lo mismo. Listen. Solo que aquí no vamos a mencionar eh, ningún nombre de persona, vaya. Es como que usted directamente va a mencionar el comando como que usted directamente se lo da a la persona en el instante. Por ejemplo, si usted está hablando de reportes, right? Hace el reporte. Uh -huh. Usted solo, solo va a decir, sí. do the report. Yeah, like that. Uh -huh. Ah. Yes. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si le dice a alguien, ah, prepara una reunión. Ah, prepare a meeting. And that's it. Y eso es un comando. Ok. Ok, cool. Besides this ones, ¿qué otros generalmente usted da en, en su trabajo? Como lo, eh, hago, hago bastantes cálculos, cálculos de materiales, cosas así. Lo di, o sea, son cosas que, que se ordenan más. Uh -huh. You may say this, calculate the material. You can even say oh, that. Okay. All right? Cool. So me that that case... no mando yo. <laughs> 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 o sea que es al revés en la casa. <laughs> en la casa es al revés. Sí, porque si no, no hay comida. ¿no? <laughs> Así es. <laughs> ok, ok, cool. Cool. So, basically... That was part of the topic that we were discussing yesterday, okay? Bien, entonces, eso era parte del tema que estábamos uh, discutiendo, uh, you know, like, la clase pasada, right? The last class. Sí, y, y quizás no, no le capté porque como venía ayer, venía yeah, manejando. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you were, you were driving and everything. Sí, sí, y al final se vino a, a se vino a, a, a sintonizar con los demás, pero sí, ya. Uh, ya era pasada la hora, sí. I, I, I know that. No problem. Okay. Jose, okay, Edgar, thank you. Jose, do you want to say something? Uh, it's... Del trabajo. Okay, all right. Close the doors when entering the off. Ah, okay, all right. Office. 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 Ajá. Sí. Cerrar la puerta de la oficina. No, ok, cool. Y ahí se puede usar siempre, por favor, o please. Yes, you, si quieres ser más, no. po, más educado, como dicen, más polite, sí, puede decir please. Ya sea al principio o al final. Sí. Please okay. close the door of the office. Mm -hmm. You can do it that. Ok, cool. Sí. Y la otra sería, please water the plants. Ah, ok, water the plants. Ok, cool. Yeah, I mean, that one is, is, is pretty common, right? Water the plants. Y Regar las plantas. Otra sería, please do, do, do not run in the house. Mm, ok, cool. That one is negative. Very good. Usar los basureros, por favor. Exactly. There's another one. Perfect. Thank you, Jose. Now, let's start with the topic that we got for tonight. Right? Tonight's topic is like going to be like kind of interesting. 
because we're going to be talking about two different uh, structures, okay? Now, we, we are going to, you know, put a pad uh, aside the structures that we were practicing, and we are going to start with this that I'm going to show you right now. Me confirman, por favor, si pueden ver la presentación. Okay, perfect. So this is the video conference number eight. And tonight's topic is going to be how to use have to and need to. Ahora vamos a ver dos estructuras. Okay. Uh, que son compuestas, por así decirlo. Son frases compuestas. La primera es have to. Y la segunda es need to. Right? Estas por lo general se utilizan ya dentro de oraciones para expresar necesidad y expresar obligación. Right? Obligation and necessity. Así que vamos a ver cada una de ellas. Vamos a ver algunos ejemplos, básicamente. Right? Just, just you know, to understand what is this about. Okay? That's the main thing that we are going to be discussing. So, let's continue. The class agenda, lo, como lo más importante que tenemos para esta noche. The review from the previous class, lo que acabamos de, de hacer, like, el pequeño repaso sobre el que vimos ayer. Now, right after that, let's start with have to and has to. That's in first and third person, remember? Recordemos que has to ya sería la tercera, o, o sea, la forma de la tercera persona de cómo usar have to. And then we're going to uh, do need to. And then we're going to practice a conversation in the manual, right? And some exercises that we have there. Y algunos ejercicios que igual vamos a tener uh, para poder desarrollar, okay? So this is pretty much what we have. Let's start. Have to. Okay, listen. When do we use have to? ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado esta estructura? Have you ever sí. listened about this structure? Have to. What is sí, have to for? Okay, cool. What is have to for? Una obligación, por ejemplo. Yo necesito, por ejemplo, I have to pay tomorrow. Yo tengo que pagar mañana. Exactly. So, have to. La base fundamental es lo que Carlos estaba mencionando. What he was mentioning. Lo necesitamos esta estructura para expresar más que todo obligación. We needed to express obligation, right? Aunque no solo obligación, ya vamos a ver algunos ejemplos sobre uh, algunos aspectos que también se utilizan. But the main point here is to show obligation, para mostrar obligación, okay? Entonces, básicamente la traducción de have to es like tener que. Esa es básicamente la traducción. Have to, tener que. That's what it is. So, since we are basically talking about that, let's remember, we're talking about obligation, right? That it's expressing obligation. Okay, cool. Let's start over. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wendy, help me out reading this part, please. How to has to is used to express uh -huh. certainty. Certainty. ¿Cómo? Certainty. Certainty. Uh -huh. eh, necessity. Necessity. Necessity and obligation. Ah, okay. Very good. Listen up. To express certainty, that means certeza. Necessity means, you know, like necesidad and obligation, que en este caso será la principal, con la cual vamos a estar uh, practicando algunos ejemplos y algunas conversaciones, ¿ok? Examples, take a look at this. Verónica, help me a reading example number one, please. This answer has to be correct. Ah, ok. This answer has to be correct. Tenemos has porque estamos mencionando answer. Esta respuesta 
Entonces, hablamos solo de una. Por lo tanto, por eso es que llevamos has. ¿Ok? Because it's singular. Remember that, ¿ok? I ans uh, this answer has to be correct. ¿Qué estamos expresando ahí? Estamos expresando certeza de algo. ¿Ok? Certeza de algo. Right? Let's remember that. Entonces, cuando estamos seguros de que algo es correcto, ¿ok? O de que algo es afirmativo, entonces ahí es donde expresamos certeza. ¿Ok? Let's remember that. Next example. William, help me a reading, please. I have to finish the home homework. The workbook? The workbook? Workbook before the exam necessary. Necessary. Necessary, perdón. Yes. In that case, this example is expressing necessity. Right? Ah, tengo que terminar este libro de trabajo antes del examen. So, that's like kind of necessary, right? Why? Because it depends a great from that book. Okay? All right. And the last one. The last one. Ivania, help me out reading the last example, please. They have to leave early. Okay, thank you. They have to leave early. Ah, se tienen que ir temprano. So, that is obligation, right? We are expressing obligation in that case, right? Let's remember, uh, the focus of this structure is going to be like expressing obligation, okay? Now, are we understanding up to now? Hasta acá. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Let's remember, tomemos en cuenta de que la estructura principal que vamos a usar va a ser para expresar obligación. Ok, in here. Now, saying this, do you have any question with this? ¿Tenemos alguna duda con esto? No. No, ok, cool. Let's continue. Uh, teacher. Yeah, Jorge. Uh, ¿Qué era certainty? Certainty, certeza. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Have to and has to. Check this out. Si tendrí, si tuviésemos que desglosar esto como, uh, por así decirlo, usando una estructura gramatical, right? Sería más que todo o más o menos la estructura de esta forma. Sería subject. Plus, have to, or has to, plus, listen up, main verb, plus complement. Si tuviésemos que usar la estructura, básicamente sería esta, ¿ok? De cómo formar oraciones usando have to o has to, like this. Aquí he puesto have to and has to porque a veces cuando usamos tercera persona, right? Necesitamos el has. Let's remember that. So, básicamente esa sería la estructura que eh, rige estas oraciones, right? This type of things. Cool. And we have one example in there. We have the first example. Uh, Mr. Gamero, help me reading that one, please. Mm -hmm. I have to wear uniform in my work. Ah, okay, thank you. I have to wear a uniform in my work. Ah, tengo que usar uniforme en mi trabajo, right? Is that expressing basically an obligation, right? En ese caso, ahí lo que estamos haciendo es expresar obligación. Why? Porque ya son reglas establecidas de la empresa, right? They have to wear uniform. All right, so in that case, let's remember, we are expressing obligation. Next example. Let's see who can read that. Jonathan, help me read it. You have to meet with the clients. Okay, with the clients. With the clients. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, you have to meet with the clients. Ah, tienes que reunirte con los clientes. You see, like, 
you have to meet with the clients. So what am I expressing in this case? We are expressing obligation, okay? Obligation. Aquí estamos igual, expresando obligación, porque es algo que se tiene que hacer, right? In that case. Cool. Let's move. The next example, Julio Alberto, now that you're in your house, let's read. She has to make calls every day. Ah, okay, thank you. She has to make calls every day. Ah, ella tiene que hacer llamadas todos los días. All right, so that's part of the job. Let's remember, right? So there's something that you do every day. Next example. Let's see. Gerardo. Man, you look different with the with the haircuts. You look completely different. He, he has to take a look. Okay, he has to talk. He has to talk a lot. To talk. Talk. That's the verb, okay? Yeah. He has to talk a lot, right? El tiene que hablar mucho. That's the expression, right? He has to talk a lot. El tiene que hablar mucho. That's what basically, right? Cool. Let's continue. Let's continue, guys. Okay. Before, before moving on, before moving on, because in a case we're going to end up with that part. Do you have any question with this? Tenemos alguna pregunta en cómo formular la escritura, cómo hacer las oraciones, uh, cuando va a ser has to or have to. Any question with that? Or oh, everything is clear? O todo está claro hasta acá. Everything clear, teacher. Yeah, huh? Everything clear. Ah, okay. I, 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 I saw you were saying something different. Okay. If you're, you're not teaching. Ah? You're not. Tengo una duda. Okay, tell me, tell me. Vaya. How to, es solo, digamos, cuando va dirigido a, en, la, en las, no sé, ay, se me ha olvidado. Okay, listen, listen, listen. El, Listen, Michelle, se la, voy a poner, se la voy a poner sencilla. Listen, vaya a Tenemos have to, ok, in one uh -huh. side. Y acá, on the other side, we're going to have has to, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like this. Ok, have to. ¿Con qué, con qué subjects lo usamos? Ah, listen, lo usamos con I. You, we, they, okay? Y okay. plural nouns. Cuando me refiero a plural nouns, ¿a qué me refiero? Por ejemplo, si yo digo, Elvi and Gerardo. Aquí okay. estoy mencionando a dos personas. O yo digo, the students. It's plural. Si yo digo, the students is only one, singular. But if I write the S, the students. Ah, aquí es. The students have two. Okay. Elvi and Gerardo have two. Why? Porque estamos mencionando a dos personas in that case, right? Mm -hmm. Elvi and Gerardo, right? Okay. A eso se refiere con los plural nouns, okay? Now, I, you, we, and they... You use the same, right? Have to. Okay. Now, with has to, you use he, she, it, and singular nouns. Okay. Singular nouns. Con singular nouns. No, y aquí no se modifican los verbos. No vea. No, por eso se modifica have to. Pasa ah, de have okay. to a has to. Porque okay. ya es que se modifica, right? Cool. En este caso, okay. singular nouns. ¿A qué no me refiero con singular nouns? Let's remember. The student. C 
si acá yo digo the students, acá yo digo the student, only one. Ok. The student has two. Y luego el complemento que le va a colocar, ok? Ok. Or, acá, si en la otra oración yo tengo Elvi en Gerardo, acá yo solo puedo decir Elvi has two y luego lo que voy a colocar de complemento. Ok. Por ejemplo, vamos a hacer esta. Elvi has two. Mm. Let's see something. Sleep after class. Ok. Elvi has to sleep after class. Ah, Elvi tiene que dormir después de clase. You see, in that case, ¿qué estamos mostrando ahí? Cierto grado de obligación. ¿Por qué? Ah, porque si Elvi no duerme, mañana va a andar ah, sin energía, right? So, in that case, okay. you're showing obligation. Y si ve, ya la oración es tercera persona. ¿Por qué? Estamos usando has to. Ok. Ok, teacher, thank you. There you go. Any other question? Somebody else? Mr. Gamero, is everything clear? ¿Estamos claros hasta acá? Solo esperando la, la, la neces, necesidad. <laughs> ok, ok. Con need to, con, ajá, con need to. Ahora right. bueno, voy a esperar la explicación. Okay. In, that case, in, that case, in that case, Mr. Listen. Por lo general, yo simplemente lo, lo di para que se conozca. Pero, como lo mencionaba, lo, en lo que nos vamos a centrar acá es en ese tipo de oraciones para expresar obligación. Obligation. Sobre cosas que usted tiene que hacer. Right? Ya sea en su trabajo o en su casa. Let's remember, obligations are always there. right? In the house, in the job, in everything. For example, one obligation that you guys might have. Una obligación que todos pueden tener, o bueno, todos tienen, including me. I can say, we, as a group, we have to pay the bills. Right? In that case. Like this. Check this out. We have to pay the bills. ¿A qué me refiero con bills? Electricity, water, facturas, Wi-Fi, exactly, Wi-Fi, what else? Bills, creo que es cuenta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ajá. Cell phone. All right. And a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things, right? So all of them are bills. Bills. Ajá. Cuentas o recibos. That's bills. Okay, is that an obligation for us? Yes, it's an obligation, right? Si no paga la electricidad, se la van a cortar y pues ya se queda sin, sin luz, right? No paga el Wi-Fi y pues nos quedamos sin internet, right? So in that case, that is a, an obligation that you have to cover every single month, right? Cool. So that's part of our obligation. Let's remember that. Okay, cool. Up to now, if you don't have any questions, All right, guys, what are those obligations that you have? Vamos a comenzar por partes. ¿Cuáles son esas obligaciones que tienen en casa ustedes? Let's remember, todos dependemos de ciertas actividades que tenemos que hacer, ¿ok? When we got from, from the job and everything. Quiero que me escriban tres. Three obligations, personal obligations that you have in your house. Not in your job, in your house right now. When you finish, let me know. Let's talk about that. Remember, three obligations that you have in your house. Finish. Perfect.
Okay, cool. Let me know when you finish. Finished. Finish. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's wait for the rest. Let's remember, let's remember. Podemos seguir esta secuencia que tenemos acá arriba, la estructura. Subject plus have to, ok. En este caso, como va a ser eh, personal, van a usar have to en todas. Then the main verb and then the complement for the main verb. All right, I guess everybody has already finished. So let's start with that. Voy a comenzar con la primera de la que me aparece acá en la lista. <laughs> Elvi, you're the first one. Read your, your, your examples. I have, I have to supermarket. When you mean, when, when you say I have to supermarket, what do you mean? ¿A qué se refiere? Tengo que ir al supermercado a comprar comida. <laughs> Ah, no, in that case, I have to go to the supermarket. Ah, okay. Me falta el verbo. Yeah, yeah. El verbo okay. principal. I have to pay, to pay the bills. Tengo okay. que pagar las cuentas. Okay. I have to go my work. Go to my work. Work. Yes. Ah, okay, cool. O oh, puede ponerlo más simple. I have to work. Tengo que I trabajar. have to work, puse. Okay, perfect. Okay. Tengo I have que to trabajar. work. There Thanks. you go. All right, Elvi. Thank you. Uh, Ivania, let's read yours. Okay. I have to wash the car. Okay. I have I have to cook. Okay, very good. I have to go to work. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ivania. Wendy, and yours? Vaya. I have to wash the dishes every day in the night. <laughs> okay. I have to clean the house on the weekends. Uh, I have to pay, ¿cómo dijo? Recibos. The bills. I have to pay the bills. Uh, electricity bill. Ah, o, o puede decirlo así, vaya. Si uh -huh. solo va a mencionar, tengo que pagar el, re, eh, el recibo de electricidad, es uh -huh. like, I have to pay the electricity bill. I have to pay, ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Electricity. Uh -huh. Ajá, no electricity. necesariamente recibo. Exactly, no, no, no. Solamente uh -huh. pone electricity y luego bill, sin ese, bill. Bill. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay, cool. Thank you, Wendy. Veronica. I have to cook every day. I have to water the plants and I have to wash the dishes. Yeah, you have to wash the dishes. Esa última la dice bien emocionada. <laughs> like, I have to wash the dishes. <laughs> okay, Wendy, thank you. I mean, uh, Veronica, thank you. Uh, Michelle. How about you? Eh, en la casa. Yes, in your house. Eh, I have to clean my house. <laughs> okay. I have to cook the dinner. Okay, nice. I have to pay the electricity and cell phone. Uh, the electricity and the cell phone bills. And the cell phone bills. Mm, okay, cool. 
So you pay the electricity, Michelle. Uh, ¿Cuánto me sale? No, no, you pay personally. You help, you help in the house with the electricity bill. Como no entiendo. Ayuda a la, <laughs> ayuda a la casa pagando el recibo de electricidad. Ah, sí. Ah, ok, cool. Es una obligación. Yeah, no, no, no obligation. How much do you pay? Eh, cell phone. No, no, no. How much do you pay uh, in the electricity bill? ¿Cómo? No entiendo. <laughs> how much? How much? You know what is how much? You remember from last week? ¿Se acuerda el tema de la semana pasada? How much ah. and how many? How much did you pay? Michelle? Hmm. Se nos quedó frisada, Michelle. Ok. All right. Let's continue. Hola, ¿se escucha? Yes, yes. And do you listen to me? Sí. Es que me entró una llamada, teacher, y la corté porque no me dejó hablar. <laughs> no, I mean, I was, I, was, I was asking how much do you pay in the electricity? Ah. Le decía que a veces varía, a veces es mucho, a veces es poco. Ah, ah, yeah, I mean, it's like always, right? It depends on, mm -hmm. the, on, the, on the way you consume the electricity. All right, cool. Thank you, Michelle. William? Okay. Yes, for your uh, <clears throat> I have to pay cell phone bill. Okay. I had to watch TV in the night. Okay. I had to clash in the night. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. I have... Uh, I have class? No, because in that case, in, esa, in ese caso, no está expresando obli obligación. En oh, ese okay, caso, okay, okay. lo que está, haciendo, está diciendo es que ah, tengo clase, okay? ok? Pero no estamos diciendo tengo I, que. In that case, you I'm might say... Tengo otra. Uh, Oye, I you, have can, to... you can put it like that, mister. Solo, solo hay que cambiarle algo, vaya. I have to speak English in the class. That's it. Uh, okay, I have, to pe I have to speak English yes. in the class. Exactly, porque después del have to tiene que ir un verbo extra para que okay. eh, el have to tenga es, eso, esa acción de obligación, ¿ok? Ah, uh, ok, ok. Ya, yeah, me da uh -huh. ¿Y cuál era la otra que tenía? Uh, I have to dinner. In my house. Ah, okay. Hace falta... uh -huh. No, no, you, yeah. you, can, you can say that. I have to dinner. It's my, oh. Es una obligación para mí. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like me. I, that, that's an obligation. <laughs> si no... Hay que cocinar okay. al día siguiente. <laughs> By yourself. No, no, no. Okay, okay. okay, William, thank you. Julio Alberto, how about you? Hola. Yeah, Sorry, sí, ok. Eh, I have to pay electricity bill. Ok, I have to pay the electricity bill. I have to work. <laughs> okay. I have to get up early. I have I to, has to clean my house. Mm, ok, cool. Hice una de más porque eh, la primera es la repetida. <laughs> ok, perfect. No problem. Thank you. Soy la. Let's read yours. Bye. Bye. I have to clean to my house. Mm -hmm. I have I have to go to the supermarket. Okay. I have to speak with my son. Perfect. I have to receive the English class. Ah, okay. In the, in the night. Ah. Uh, at night. At night. Oh, yes. Okay. Perfect. So glad. Thank you. Carlos Gamero. Your turn, mister. Okay. I have to watch my clothes. Okay. I have to clean my room. Perfect. I have to cook my food. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Julio Cesar. Pues acabo de llegar, pero le, medio lo entiendo. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. let, let, let's, let's try out. Uh -huh. uh, I pay to the house. Uh -huh. okay. uh, uh, I have pay to the cars. <laughs> I have to pay the car, okay. Eh, no sé, es que acabo de llegar sobre esa ahorita que acabo de ver ejemplo. <risa> ah, ok, mister, no problem, no problem. Ah, okay. uh, let's see, Cindy. Yes, teacher. Ok, Cindy, read yours. I have to pay receive, recibo. Uh, the bills, bills. The bills, bills. I have to go to the supermarket and I have to clean the, my house. Okay, I have to clean my house. Very good, Cindy, thank you. Let's see, Mr. Chavez. Sure, teacher. Uh, the first one is, I have to watch uh, my, my clothes. Okay. Uh, to eat healthy mm -hmm. and, and I had to clean my car. Now, okay, I have to clean my car. There you go. Yeah, I mean, not like me. I have like, like 20 days without cleaning my car. Maybe like dirty. Okay, uh, Gerardo. I have to pay the bills. Okay. I have to pay credit card. Huh. Okay, very good. I have to pay school. I have to pay? School. The school. Ah, yeah, I mean, you are studying, right? Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Let me see who else, who else, who else. Jonathan. I have to work hard. Okay, I have to work hard. Mm -hmm. I have to take my brother to school. Okay, I have to take my brother to school. Uh, I have to study a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Jonathan. Thank you. Jose Edgar. Hola. Yeah, mister. Read yours. Ah, okay. I have to play electric and in the house. Ah, okay. The electricity in the house. Mm -hmm. e I have to buy me my, my cell phone my cell phone. Okay, you have to pay your e cell phone. Un ejemplo, en realidad lo pago todos, pero es un ejemplo. Ah, ok, ok. That's what you got. There ok. You go. Perfect, thank you. Let's see, José Pineda. Yes. Okay. I have to wash my clothes. Ok. I have to take a bath every day. Ok. I have to brush my teeth. No, okay, you have to brush your teeth. There you go, thank you. Let's see, Jorge Alberto. Hi, teacher. Let's read them, mister. Okay. I have made... Uh, I have made. I have to make. See, oh, sorry. Uh, I have I have to make calls every day. Okay. I have to clean my bedroom. Mm, okay, cool. Uh, I have to polite with the clients. 
I have to be polite with the clients. Yeah, I had to be, okay. I have to be, I have to be polite with the clients. Okay, perfect. Thank you, mister. You did okay. it excellent. Juan Campos. Okay, um, I had to pay the loan. Also, I had to go to the supermarket. Then I had to pay the bills. Okay, you gotta pay the bills. Thank you, mister. That's the one. Okay, who is missing? Uh, is somebody is missing? Alguien me falta? Se me movieron las cuadrículas. All right, I guess everybody has already participated. Creo que sí, a todos. Participamos. Okay, and let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing this. Okay, now that we know about how to use have to, let's start with has to. Give me one second. I need to. This is the other one. Yeah. This is la otra. Okay. Estamos saying have to, has to. Ahora need to. What is need to? Necesito. Ah, okay, cool. Necesito, right? That's the one that we're going to be like, like, you know, like practicing now. Ahora dejamos de lado la obligación y nos introducimos en algo llamado necesidad, right? De hacer algo. So, let's start over. Check this out. It says, need to. Express necessity. Esa es básicamente eh, la función principal que tiene esa estructura. Express what? Express necessity. Expresa una necesidad. Okay. That's the one. Check this out. Uh, let's see. Who can help me out with this? Wendy, help me reading, Wendy. I need to my shirts every day. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I need to do my chores every day. All right, listen. En cuanto a estructura, básicamente este es similar al have to. ¿En qué sentido? Listen. Que para la estructura tenemos el subject. Después del subject tenemos need to. Luego need to tenemos el, uh, in that case, eh, the main verb, el verbo principal que indica la acción. And then the complement. Y para luego terminar con el complemento. All right? But let's remember, a diferencia de have to, need to es para expresar cierto grado de necesidad. Right? That's what it is for. Next one. Let me see this one. Verónica. You need to buy new clothes. Clothes. Okay, thank you. Ah, you need to buy new clothes. Necesitas comprar nueva ropa. Is that a necessity? Probably, right? Probably, yes. Ivania, read the third example. She need to write a new letter. Thank you, miss. She needs to write a new letter. Listen up. Listen. En tercera persona, surge una modificación. Aunque no es como la modificación que tenemos en have to, que cambia de have to a has to. Acá lo único que tenemos que hacer es agregarle la S al verbo need. Y entonces tendremos needs to. ¿Cuándo usamos needs to? Ah, cuando hablemos de he. She, it, we, and they. Now, it's just like he, she, it, and singular nouns, guys. Singular nouns. Recuerden, cuando hablamos de singular nouns, es como que yo diga William, the park, 
the dog, the cat, right? The house, okay? Hay infinidad de cosas que podemos, uh, uh, no solo nombres de personas, podemos considerar como singular nouns, right? Sino también nombre de, de cosas, lugares, okay? In this case, we got, she needs to write a letter. Ella necesita escribir una carta. Right? So, what is expressing in that case? Estamos expresando necesidad about something. Okay, let's continue with the examples. Soila, help me a reading this one. He needs to send the report. Okay, thank you, miss. He needs to send the reports. So let's remember, in here we are expressing an obligation, right? I mean, a necessity in this case. Necessity, Excuse right? Me. Because in that case, it's like mostly for necessity ones. Carlos, you want to say something? What's the mean chores? The first one. Uh, chores. The first thing. Chores, uh huh. Chores is a synonym of cleaning. Chores is tareas de la casa. Ya no, sea, okay. barrer, trapear, lavar, uh, limpiar la casa, right? Por completo. That's chores. Okay. Very good. Any questions up to now? ¿Alguna duda hasta acá? Mi, mi, este, mi duda es, digamos, que si, si pusiera, expresáramos he, he have to send the reports, ¿cómo puede diferenciar cuando es need to o, o have to en esta expresión? Listen, mister. Ahí usted es el que va a decidir si está haciendo esa oración que parezca una necesidad o una obligación. Ok, cool. Por ejemplo, las dos oraciones pueden estar correctas. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, uh, he has to send a report, for example. Él tiene que enviar un reporte. That is an obligation. Ahí está expresando obligación. Ok, de que ese reporte se tiene que, se, se tiene que enviar. Another one. He needs to send a report. Él necesita enviar un reporte. Probablemente ya lo tiene. Ok. Ahora, está en la necesidad de que de poderlo enviar. All right. En este caso, ya no estamos hablando de obligación, estamos hablando de necesidad. Ok. So, in that case, both sentences are correct. Ambas oraciones son correctas, con puntos de vista muy diferentes. Uno indicando obligación, la otra indicando necesidad. Ok. 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 All right, perfect. Let's continue. We got this one. Uh, let me see who can help me already. Someone that has not participated that much. Gerardo. I need to spend more time with my children. With my children. With my children. All right. Thank you, mister. So in that case, what are we doing here? It's like expressing a necessity too, right? So let's remember, every time you see this one, like need to, it's because it is expressing what? Obli I mean, necessity, right? Not obligation. Obligation is with have to. That's the one. All right. Ahora bien. What are those necessities that we can have? For example, one necessity that I can have uh, for you guys, right? That you might, might show in that case. You might say, the students need to speak English. In that case, you are expressing a necessity. The students need to speak English. Los estudiantes necesitan hablar inglés. Right, you see? The students need to speak 
English. So in that case, I am showing a necessity. En este caso estoy eh, hablando de una necesidad, right? Entonces, ¿cuál es su principal objetivo ustedes acá? Ah, to speak English. Hablar inglés. So in that case, that's a necessity. Entonces acá, usando need to, se convierte en una necesidad. Ok. Mientras tanto, si usáramos have to, ya se convertiría en una obligación. Ok. Let's remember. Son dos cosas muy diferentes. Una necesidad y una obligación. Teacher. Ya, yeah, José. Una consulta donde she needs. Ahí cambia con la ah, S. Yeah. Exactly. Eso es lo que mencionaba antes. Eh, ahí ya se le coloca la S porque es tercera persona. Es lo que mencionaba oh. específicamente acá, mister. Mire, acá en esta parte. Donde estoy marcando ahorita. Que se le agrega la S al verbo need. ¿Ok? Y decimos needs to. ¿Cuándo needs. decimos needs, needs to? ¿Cuándo se le agrega la S? Cuando hablamos en la oración de he, she, it o singular nouns. ¿Cuáles son esos singular nouns? Por ejemplo, William. The name William. You might say Julio, Juan, Cindy. Right? Uh, the next one, like the park. Okay? The dog. The cat. The house. So those words are in singular. Entonces, ese tipo de, de palabras están en singulares. Ok, okay gracias. Perfecto. Teacher, con yes. la misma consulta del compañero. En el caso, cuando dice eh, the students, es hablando de los estudiantes. Exactly. En este caso, estamos hablando de más de uno. Entonces, uh -huh. es plural. Plural. Ok. Ahora bien. Okay. Ahora bien. Si yo tuviese esta parte acá, listen. Yo dijera. The students. Aquí solo es uno. Ok. Ah, eso creía, este, en ese caso, sí se, sí se ocuparía la S. Yes, exactly. Like this. Look. The student needs to speak English. Ah, ya el verbo need va modificado. If you take a look in there. Now it's needs with S, right? Entonces esa es la modificación que sufre cuando es tercera persona, ¿ok? Solo tercera persona. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Pregunta? ¿Something? All right, no? Ok, perfect. Now let's do something similar to need, ¿ok? What are those necessities that you got in your house, people? ¿Cuáles son esas necesidades que ustedes tienen que cubrir o que hacer? Okay. Um, I need to buy a supermarket. <laughs> ah, ¿Necesita comprar un supermercado? No, I need to buy a supermarket. That's what I'm saying. That is lo que está diciendo, mister. I need, oh, I, oh, I need to, I need to take a shower. Es una necesidad para mí. <laughs> Uh, I need to drink a beer. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Look at that, man. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, Carlos, en su casa los fines de semana o cuando está de vacaciones ya no es I need to, sino I have to. Obligation. <laughs> You're expressing obligation, man. Okay, cool. Anyway. I need vacation. I need it. Ok, no, pero ahí no, ahí no está mostrando necesidad. Ahí no está mostrando necesidad todavía. I need go, no. Ajá. I need go vacation. Eh, no. No. I need to have vacation. That is, that is different. Recordemos que después del need to, tiene que tener un verbo. Ok. Give me okay. one second, guys. Yeah, okay. in that case, you need a verb. Okay. Okay, nice. I need to go to the beach. <laughs> okay, that's different. I need to go to the beach. All right, that's, that's one. Cool. All right. Now, I mean, in that case, express three, three sentences 
expressing necessity. Vamos a escribir tres oraciones igual expresando necesidad, ya sea, like, you know, like in every aspect of your life, right? Mientras las escriben, voy a pasar asistencia. Because, uh, ya me pasé nueve minutos. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Give me one second. All right, uh, Carlos Mauricio. Here present. Okay, thank you. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. Okay, Elvi Quintanilla. Hi teacher. Now, okay, cool. Give me one second. I throw my, my pen. Okay, nice. Uh, Stephanie Michel. Present. Okay, great. Gustavo Adolfo. She's not here. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, let's continue. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Juan Emanuel. I'm present. Okay, Mr. Uh, Emanuel, you're the one that is sick? Yeah. What happened to you? Yeah. So I feel very weak. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I can look at you like you're like kind of, yeah, you don't look that good. Yeah, I mean, that happens. Ah, sorry, man. Okay, cool. Juan Gilberto. Okay, Gilberto is missing. Uh, let's continue, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. All right, Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, great. Karen Beatriz. Okay, neither Karen, but she's not here. Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, excellent. Verónica Arely. Present. Okay, great. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay, William Ernesto. Present. Okay, Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara Elizabeth. Okay, Xiomara was here. Okay, she's not here. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Perfect. And the last one, Soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, very nice. So, I guess you have already uh, written your answers. Creo que ya tienen las respuestas, right? Finished. Okay, perfect, perfect. Finished. Okay, nice. I'm going to start with. Uh, give me one second. I know this is different. Okay, Elby, I'm going to start with you. I need to sleep eight hours. Okay, I need to sleep eight hours. Perfect. I need uh, to send the invoice. Okay. Uh, I need to visit. I need to visit my client. Okay. Very good. Thank you, LB. Ivania, can you read yours? Uh, <clears throat> I need to buy milk. Okay. I need to send reports. Okay. I I need to clean my house. Now, okay, perfect. Thank you, Vania. Wendy. Uh, 
Vaya, sería... I need to the vacation. Mm, I need to have the vacation. Um, Ah, I, sí, tiene razón. I need, I need to, to have, have vacation. Vacation, okay. I need to make exercise. Uh, in that case, do. No, no. Wendy. Hacer. En vez de eh, make, ponga do. Uh -huh. Recordemos que make es más que todo como para fabricar, crear algo. Y do es de acción, ¿ok? De hacer, sí, tiene razón. <ríe> ok, y sería, I need to... I need to... ¿Cómo? ¿Hola? Ajá, the last one, no escuché mucho la, la última. Aprender, el, el verbo aprender. Learn. Learn. Yeah. I need to learn English. Ok, se lo voy a mandar ahí por el, por el chat. Ahí está. Learn. Ah, bueno. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Cool. Verónica. Lady in red. <laughs> I need to paint my bedroom. Ok, cool. Uh, I need to read more okay. and I need to buy a car. <laughs> okay, good. There you go, Veronica. Thank you. William, your example. Uh, I need to eat every day. Okay. I need to clean my car. Y en esta sí tengo una duda, pero ahí me va a corregir. I need to use glass every time, pero como para usar, usar mis lentes todo el tiempo. Glasses. Glasses, ¿eh? Yeah. Yeah. I need you, uh, I need to use glasses every time. Uh, em, para eso, vamos a poner el verbo este, que le voy a mandar. Where. Ah, uh, where, where. Ah, en vez de use, where. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Wear your glasses, right? Okay, cool. Nice. Carlos Gamero. I need to buy new shoes. Okay. I need to take a shower. Okay. I need to drink a cup of coffee. <laughs> cup of coffee? What about the beer, man? <laughs> Didn't you write down the beer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Julio Cesar. I need to think English. Okay. Uh, I need to buy a new car. No, oh, okay, cool. Uh, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. Everybody, I think. Cool, cool. Thank you. Soila. I need to learn to drive. Ah, okay. I need to go to the shop. Mm -hmm. I need to check to check with, with my dog. I need to learn English. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you, Soila. Julio Alberto. I need to sleep 10 hours. I need to ten call hours. a client. 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Uh, I need to refer my cell phone. Ah, okay. Okay, see, sí, I see. 10 horas, 10 horas, <laughs> necesito dormir, man. Okay. Sí, ahorita sí, okay, man. Good. That's what I say, man. That's what I say. Just imagine, I go, I go to bed at 12 and I have to wake up at 4.30. So, in average, I'm sleeping only four hours in a house. Ah, pues casi igual. 
man. That's why you need more time. <laughs> cool, Julio. Thank you. Okay. Cindy. Yes, teacher. Let's read it, Cindy. I I need to sleep some 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 more. Okay. Some. Uh -huh. I need to a closet. Y en esta no sé si está bien, pero es I need to help with cleaning. With the cleaning. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah, I need to help with the cleaning. The cleaning. Necesito ayudar con la limpieza. Right. Thank you, Cindy. Nice. Carlos Chavez. Okay. Uh, I need to be relaxed. Okay. Uh, I need to do change in my house. All right. And then uh, I need to talk with my daughter. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Gerardo. I need to drink a beer. Okay. <laughs> I need to take a shower. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to have money. You need to have money to buy the to buy the, the beer. And you need to buy the beer to drink it. And you need to drink it to take a shower. And you need to take a shower to look good, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's a cycle. Nice. Michelle. Mm, I need to learn to speak English. Uh -huh. I need to more sleep. You need more sleep. Uh -huh. Y esta no sé si está bien, pero I need to lose weight. Ah, okay, All right. I need to lose weight. Y I need to buy new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool, and I, you need to buy the shoes. Lo de waste, lo veo imposible. <laughs> yeah, man, super impossible. Que cuesta bajar de peso. Man. Sí, es lo que más cuesta. Mm, yes. Yo estoy con la mentira que voy a bajar 50 libras y nunca lo hago. Man. Mejor aumento. <laughs> But anyway, okay, let's continue. Uh, who else is missing? Let me see. Wendy has already participated. Julio Cesar too. Pedro Chavez, Cindy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jonathan. Uh, I, need, I need money to go to speak. Okay. Uh, I need to study a lot to improve it myself. Okay. Very good. I need to help my family forward. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jonathan. Let's see, Juan Campos. Do you understand, man? Do you, have you been in the class? Yeah, yeah I understand. Okay, cool. Man. I need to buy two pussies. Okay, yeah. Then I need to speak fluency. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, I cool. Need... And I need? I need to listen to my parents. Okay, perfect. There you go. You need to listen to your parents. Very good. Thank you, Juan. Jose Edgar? Okay. Jose Edgar, are you there? Uh, I mean, now, now I listen to you. Read the examples that you have. Como me podría ayudar? Ah, okay, okay. What, what, what do you need help in? ¿En qué necesita ayuda? Es que para, es que no es, no he estado casi. Pendiente. Ahí va a disculpar. Okay. Que mi niño anda aquí. Ok, cool. 
La, I mean, the, the examples are using need to. Need to significa necesitar, right? Like, like you know, like something, expressing necessity. So what do you generally need? ¿Qué necesita por lo general usted? Gas para el carro. <laughs> you might say, I need to, to fill the gas tank. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, the gas is really expensive. Jesus. Okay, another example, Edgar. Hola. Another example, otro ejemplo más. Eh... I go, I, I, I do that, I go time. ¿Cómo puedo decir más tiempo? Necesito más tiempo. Ajá. I need more time. Más tiempo. Yeah, but in that case. ¿En qué, en qué aspecto, uh, Edgar? Eh, eh, digamos, más tiempo libre. Ok, para que tenga relevancia y, y, y exprese una necesidad, vamos a decir, I need to have more free time. I need to have more free time. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. I need to have more free time. All right, cool, Edgar. Thank you. So let's stay with those ones. Jose. Yes. Let's say yours, Mister. I need to clear more. Okay. I need to sleep. Sleep not. Okay, you need I, to sleep. Mm -hmm. I need to gain weight. I need to gain weight. Necesito subir de peso. Ah, I need to gain weight. Ah, no, man. Okay. okay. <risa> no, man, es, es, es algo que yo no puedo escuchar porque nomás respiro y engordo. <risa> <risa> ok, cool. Who else is missing? Alguien más que me falte. Gerardo, do you participate already? Yes. No, okay, cool. Let me see. Who else? Who else? Juan Campos has already participated. Yeah, Cindy, Jonathan, Jose Edgar. Okay, cool. Jorge Alberto, did you read yours? Yo, teacher. Uh, I need to learn to speak English. Okay. I need to buy in the supermarket. Okay. I need to practice English every day. Okay, you need to practice English every day. Very nice. Okay. So that's pretty much what you have, right? Okay, mister, no problem. All right, in this case, those are like the ways how we use need to, okay, to express necessity. Entonces, básicamente es la forma en cómo usamos esa estructura para expresar necesidad, right? Like using need to. Okay, cool. Now. What are we gonna do, guys? Listen up. We're gonna be working in the manual. Vamos a irnos a trabajar al manual, specifically in this page. If I'm not wrong, this is page 26. I want you to go 26, to page 26. All right. Las páginas antes de la 26 las vamos a hacer el viernes, right? En la en el general feedback que vamos a tener de cada uno de los temas. So, this is a short conversation that we need to practice. It says, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner, right? This is a, com a conversation between John and Anne. It says, John, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? It says, Anne, yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. All right, yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. 
and you and you that's John well I have to reschedule two meetings well I have to reschedule two meetings right for tomorrow for tomorrow they were cancelled today they were cancelled today is this an oh that's too bad oh that's too bad is that John yes I have to provide I have to provide important information important information to some customers <laughs> I'm sorry to some customers it says and that sounds interesting <coughs> that sounds interesting all right guys from this one do you have any question related to the vocabulary ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario de esta conversación? Yes, I have to provide. Provide, provide. Provide. Provide, provide means proveer. Right, or that in this case also. Teacher, y la palabra press to... Reschedule. Reschedule. Listen. Reschedule. 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 Schedule. Reschedule. 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 What does reschedule mean? All right. Easy. Reschedule means reagendar. Okay, that's what it means. Reagendar. Any other word? Alguna otra palabra? Information to some customer. Okay, information to some customers, you know, like some customers or like algunos clientes. Customer. Yeah, customer, clientes. Okay. All right. Any any other question that you might have? Or well, everything is okay now? Excuse me. No, 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 no. Well, I have to reschedule. Ah, reschedule. 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 Schedule. Schedule. Reschedule. Yeah, that one. Reschedule. Teacher. Reagendar. Yes, William. Eh, ¿Alguna diferencia en customer and clients? O es... Clients. Clients, ajá. Es lo mismo. Se no, puede referir a clientes. Yeah, I mean, in that case, it's the same. Customers and clients are the same. Mostly. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's the same. They just yeah, Okay, miss. And uh, for the rest, listen up. Vamos a practicar esta pequeña conversación, right? Especialmente por el uso de las palabras que tenemos ahí. Like, we need to put them in the context, question and answers, you know, all those things. Vamos a hacer igual lo mismo que hacemos siempre. I'm going to stop sharing here. Voy a dejar de compartir y nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas. Just to confirm, Gerardo, José Pineda, Jonathan, José Edgar, and Jorge Alberto, are you there? ¿Todos están ahí? Yeah, I hear Yes. Present. Perfect, man. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, in that case, yeah, I mean, I need them. 18, I already started. Cool. All right, let's work this way. Vamos a trabajar de esta manera. Teacher, me regala la página de... ¿Dónde okay. estaba la conversación? All right, yeah, it's page 26. Okay. Nineteen, and you're gonna have. Let me see. Yes. I just know everything. Hello. 
Son 19. Meeting what? Los compañeros que están in, in, ahorita son 19. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Let me see, let me see, let me see. No, mister. Conmigo son 19. <laughs> ok, ok. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ok, cool. Let's, let's go to work, guys. Bien. Denle en aceptar y nos vamos a practicar por unos 5 minutos esta conversación, ok? Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Seria, and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client and you? Do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule to me for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, that's you. Well, I had to rescue to making for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important, import, important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. And yes. is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually. Not. Yes, I had to provide important information to someone, some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. It comes. Yeah. And is there something you... Teacher? Hello, everybody. Uh -huh. Tenemos una duda en la, en la palabra... Sí, ¿Cómo se dice? Interesting. Eh, en la que dice interesting. No sé cómo se, cómo ah, se pronuncia. Interesting. Interesting. In Interesting. Yes. Interesting. interesting. Ah, ok. Interesting. Ok. Bueno, comienzo de nuevo, Gerardo. Sí. Um, is there something you need to tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need, I need to call some client and you? Well, I have to reschedule to meetings for tomorrow. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client. I have to call. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Teacher, hoy que está aquí usted ahorita, este, la palabra que dice weir, weir, ¿verdad? Weir. Ah. Uh, they were can, más que todo canceled. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, uh, they were canceled. La, la, pronun la pronunciación de esa, eh, como es un verbo regular, eh, por, lo, por lo general no se dice canceled. Es solo cancel, cancel con L al final. Y cancel. en pasado a la L hay que agregarle el sonido de la B. Canceled. Canceled. Yes. Teacher, y, y, y la que está aquí dice que dice where, ¿es where o no, es where? No, listen, listen. Where. 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 Yeah, where. 
Okay. Exactly. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. Vaya, es como le dije a Verónica que decía canceled. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. que, que, que escuche como dice él, la, la de canceled. Uh -huh. sí, tiene razón. Vamos otra vez entonces. Bye. The last no, time. Yes. Okay. That's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That that's some interesting. Vaya, hoy empiezo usted ahora. Um, is there something you need to to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you well, I have to reschedule, reschedule, I see one. Reschedule, reschedule, reschedule. Listen, 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 listen. Reschedule. Reschedule. Yes, reschedule. Ah, es schedule al final. Schedule. Exactly, reschedule. 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 Okay, reschedule. Okay, así. Uh -huh. Well, mm -hmm. I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They will cancel it today. Yes, actually, you need to call some clients. Clients. And you. Julio, are you there? Hoy sí, es que se me desactiva el micrófono. Hoy sí me escucha. Sí, yes. Hoy okay. sí. Ok, nice. Yes. Ok. Eh, me ayuda con esa palabra de vuelta. La pronunciación. ¿Cuál? Res -chu ah, re reschedule. Reschedule. Reschedule is. Yes, yes, reschedule. Reschedule. To meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled. Is it canceled? Canceled. Con D al final. Con el sonido de la D al final. Canceled. Canceled. Today. Oh, time to bat. Okay. Y esa palabra de uh, yes, how to provide, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. provide. provide. Y la provide. última nos la puede pronunciar de vuelta. Es. Which one? Uh, interesting. Uh, sí. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, that one. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Ok, bueno, right. pues comencemos de vuelta, compañero. <ríe> um, is... Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule you to, to meeting for tomorrow they were canceling today oh that's too bad yes i have to provide important information to some customer that sounds interesting okay bye and is there something you need to do tomorrow yes I know it's Huh? And is and is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call Sony claims and you. Well, I have to reschedule 
to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide import information to some customer. That song, interesting. 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 Bueno. Yes, all right, perfect. Let's go to, to, to the main practice, okay? Vámonos a la sala principal ahora. Okay. okay. See you there. Everybody, everybody's coming, so everybody's like putting here. So let's start over with the, the people that we have right now. Michelle, who were you practicing with? Con Jose, no me acuerdo. Elsa. <laughs> nice, man, nice. Okay, I'm gonna place the conversation and uh, let's start. Edgar, let's start in your case. Okay. And is there a something thing you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to resume to meeting to for tomorrow. They are canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. How to private import information to sign me customer. That sound interest in interesting. interesting. Yeah, interesting. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle and, uh, and Edgar. You did it excellent. Cool. Carlos and Veronica, right? Yes, teacher. Cool, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Let's start. Okay. Um, is there something do you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, that sounds interesting. Thank you, Carlos and Veronica. You did it excellent. Okay. Now, Wendy. Hmm, Wendy, Wendy. Who are you working with, Wendy? Me tocó con... Ay. Me acuerdo el nombre. <laughs> okay. Who was practicing with Wendy? Um, no, Wendy. Ah, ah, soy la men. This is how I say Wendy. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Wendy, let's start. My aunt, is there something you need to do, to, to do, to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some client. And you? Well, I have to reschedule you to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceling today. Oh, that's, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. Wendy. Hola, ¿me escucha? Hola, sí, sí. Hola. Yes, sí, sí, le escuchamos. Ha, yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Soyla and Wendy. You did it excellent. Cool. William, let's start, William. Okay. Con Gerardo, okay. okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? 
Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That that sounds interesting. There you go. Thank you. I was, I was, I was listening like weird. Okay, Gerardo. Thank you. And William, you did it excellent. Cool. Juan Campos, who are you practicing with? I was practicing with Timmy. Okay, cool. Let's start. Okay. Hi. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to schedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. I have to provide info information to some customers. That, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, cool. Thank you, Cindy. And uh, Juan, you did it excellent. Give me one second. What, what is this? Oh, okay, I'm going to make it bigger. All right, who's missing? Let me see. Julio Alberto. Hola, hoy sí. Ok, ya, yeah, me now ya. Yeah. <laughs> Con José le digo. Ok, good. Let's start. Ah, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, you need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to rescue to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled oh, today. Oh, to but... Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good, interesting. That sounds interesting, very good. There you go, Jose, thank you, and Julio, phew. Yeah. Hmm, let me see. Who else is missing? Carlos Gamero. Jorge Alberto. Ah, okay, perfect. Let's start. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meeting for tomorrow. They were uh, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Okay, thank you, Jorge. And uh, Carlos, let me see, who else is missing? Uh, let's see, who else, who else, who else? Jonathan, who were you practicing this, this question? Con Ivani. Conversation. Con me, conmigo. Okay, cool. Con me, con me. Okay, conmigo. And is there some time you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, thanks to Bob? Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That's so interesting. Okay, that sounds interesting. There you go. Very good. Thank you, uh, Mr. Okay, cool. Now, who else is missing? Alguien más que me falta alguna parejita? Because you got you guys got the camera off. 
Let me see. Me. I was about to say LB. No, no. Impossible LB. <laughs> good. Let's start uh, uh, LB. It's with Julio Cesar, right? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Let's start. Okay. Um, is there is something you need to uh, tomorrow? Yes, actually. I need to call some clients and you? Well, I had to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, that sounds interesting. interesting. Okay, pretty nice. All right, those are the ones that we were waiting for. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think I think there's no more groups. Creo que ya no falta ningún otro grupo. Like like to pass in here. No, like 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 a conversation. And uh, if you have already finished that part, that's what basically we're gonna be like focusing on. And let's remember this part, all right? Best to express obligations or needs or necessity in that case. That case I have to be kind of a strict. Let's remember, have to is to show something that is an obligation, something strict. Need to express, in that case, a necessity, right? Okay, let me see. There you go. It says, prepare a document for my boss. Now, nah, in this case, we're going to do this, but on Friday. All right. So, guys, this is pretty much what we got for the topic of tonight. I don't know if you have any questions with this. No sé si tenemos alguna duda con respecto a este tema que acabamos de discutir. Tomando en cuenta que son dos estructuras, okay? Have to and need to. Recordemos, have to is mostly for obligation, Okay. Need to is mostly for to show necessity. Una es para obligación y la otra es para mostrar necesidad. Right? About something. Cool. Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta antes de irnos? Any question related to this? Oh, everything is clear. O todo está super claro. Mm, no? Claro, teacher. Perfect. I guess everything is clear then. Okay, guys, listen up. Uh, by tomorrow, we're going to continue with those things. Uh, on Friday, we have a lot of practice, a lot of things to practice, and the pages that you left behind uh, that we have not finished, uh, they're going to be done on Friday, okay? They're going to be done on Friday. Mañana, básicamente, tendremos eh, el otro tema. Que va a comprender básicamente el último tema de la semana. El viernes vamos a hacer una práctica general, ¿ok? De los temas principales que se han estado viendo. Entre ellos vamos a finalizar algunas páginas que eh, nos han quedado pendientes todavía con el uso de las frequency words and all those things, right? That previously were discussed. También permítanme recordarles que para este viernes... Ok, o si gustan desde antes, pueden hacer el midterm, ok, el examen de medio curso, que básicamente está abajito de la unidad 2, de one that you're working, de la tarea 6 a la 10. Entonces, sí, está abajito de eso. Ya, yeah, Jonathan. Ese examen, el writing, es de tres partes, ¿verdad? Uh, es de cuatro. Cuatro, de yo. hecho. Cuatro partes somos. Yes, sí. cuatro partes, de hecho. Exacto. Ok. All right. So, básicamente, cada parte comprende de 20, 25%, si no me equivoco. 25%, eh. Yes, exacto. Listen up. Hay algunos que me preguntan que si cuánto llevan de porcentaje a veces en las actividades o si todo eh, les ha salido bien. Listen. Ustedes. Desde la plataforma pueden revisar el porcentaje, cuál es el porcentaje que ustedes tienen con relación a las tareas. Si llevan un 100% en cuanto al desarrollo de las tareas o, digamos, cierto porcentaje que, que, que puedan tener. Y, like, for that, para eso, listen, I would like to, I would like to show you, 
¿ok? Me gustaría mostrarles antes de irnos dónde es que podemos observar esta parte. Listen. Wait one second. In here, in this area. Ok. Uh, bueno, más solo para recordar, esta es la parte, ¿verdad? Right? Este es donde están haciendo ustedes las tareas de las 6 a la 10, que ya corresponden para esta semana. Y acá está el examen que les mencionaba, que son cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Right? Cada parte consta de cinco interrogantes o cinco oraciones que ustedes tienen que completar de mejor manera la, para, para completar las oraciones. Ok, it's in here. Ahora bien, ¿cómo ver el progreso que nosotros llevamos en la plataforma? En este caso sería acá. Progreso, la barra de progreso. En esta parte de progreso, acá ustedes, listen up, tienen una barra de manera general en la cual les aparece Homework 1, es de semana 1. Ok, semana 1, homework 2, semana 2, homework 3, semana 3, homework 4, semana 4. Luego tenemos el homework promedio, el midterm, el cual van a hacer a más tardar el viernes. Y luego un final exam, y luego un examen you know, like, final de todo el curso, que ese es el último día. And then we got a total on here. Acá ya está seccionada. Listen, aquí ya está por secciones y por tareas. Tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3, tarea 4, tarea 5. Si acá usted tiene 20 de 20, significa que usted tiene un 100% acá arribita. Acá tendría que aparecerle no 0 de 100 o no 80 de 100, sino 100 de 100. Para tener eh, básicamente un, un 10 en, en toda la semana 1. Ahora la semana 2. Acá tenemos la tarea del lunes, la tarea del martes, la tarea del miércoles. O sea, esta clase, la de mañana y la del viernes, ¿ok? Aparte de esa, ah, tienen la puntuación acá de el midterm. Aquí tienen que 0 de 25 en los 4, ¿verdad? Right? Que sería esta parte. Look, parte 1 y aquí está la, el glosario, ¿verdad? Right? Que simplemente es de escoger la palabra adecuada para completar las oraciones. ¿Y sí? Cuatro partes, part two, part three, and part four. So basically, this is pretty much how you can identify. Entonces, este es cómo pueden identificar cuál es el progreso que llevan. Acá tendrían que tener al, al finalizar el listo 25 de 25 en todas. Acá, 25 de 25, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es la forma en cómo nosotros lo identificamos, ¿ok? Cool. Ahora sí, voy a pasar a asistencia. Quito esto. Y me voy a hacer. All right, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Nice. Bye. Bye. Cindy Melanie. Bye, mister. Present, teacher. Perfect. Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. Ok, cool. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Ah, ok, cool. Gustavo Adolfo is not here. Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Jorge Alberto. That's number seven. Jorge, yesterday you were practicing, right? Yeah. Ayer fue que nos, nos quedamos con el feedback. Eh, fue el lunes. Was on Monday? Yeah. Ah, okay, no, cool. no eh, el viernes fue. ¿El viernes? No, sí. el viernes estuve yo. Yeah. Ah, pues no, el lunes. Ah, pues, ah, ah, pues sí, el lunes fue. Ah, ok, cool. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Let me see. José Antonio. Present. Ok, with you was yesterday, right, José? Con usted fue ayer, ¿cierto? Yes. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. José Edgar. José Edgar. Present. Ok, José Edgar, ahora le tocan los 10 minutos de retroalimentación, ok, así que se me va a quedar después. All right, uh, right after the class, for 10 minutes. Just to clarify some things, ok. Cool. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, nice. 
Juan Gilberto. Ok, no here. Julio Alberto. Present, teacher. Ok, Jul, Julio César. Present. Excelente. Karen Beatriz, she didn't show up. Ya vengo. All right. Luis Gerardo. Present. All right. Verónica Ares. Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Let me see. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Excellent. William Ernesto. Present. All right. Xiomara Elizabeth. Okay, it's not here. Uh, Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Jose. I'm here, teacher. And good okay, night. Perfect. Good night, mister. And the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Good night, teacher. Okay, perfect, guys. All right, let's see you tomorrow, people. Thank you for getting connected to the class. Que duerman bien, portense bien, hagan la tarea, and see you tomorrow, okay? Y nos vemos mañana. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, everybody. All right, Jose. Uh, Ajá. De estos 10 minutos igual, ya eh, como el módulo pasado, básicamente nos, nos sirven para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a este tema de la clase que hemos visto o las clases anteriores. Así que cualquier duda que usted pueda tener, uh, soy todo oídos ahora. Este, ahorita el que estaban usando era, me quedé confundido, la verdad, era, era Nike, vea. Nick, Nid, Nid. Ah, ah, eh, eh, de hecho eran dos. Have to y need to. Have to y need to. Ajá. Uh -huh. Vaya, la era... verdad, algo, algo los trompezones, como dicen, he ido viendo <ríe> cómo ir, ir, ir formando. Va. Ok, ok. Pero yeah. me quedé algo perdidito, le diré. Vaya, ah, vaya miren. Teníamos, teníamos dos estructuras. Have to. Y Ajá. tenemos need to. Ok. Have to es más que todo para expresar obligación. Express uh -huh. obligation. Este expresa obligación. Este need to expresa necesidad, necessity. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Ahora bien. Expresando obligación. Need to. need to expresa necesidad. Ajá. Exacto. Ah, ok. All right. Ahora bien, have to. Básicamente have to tiene dos formas. Vaya, podemos decir have to o has to, que es para las terceras personas. Ok. Has to. Have, has to. Así se lo acabo, lo acabo de escribir ahí. Y en la tercera persona, con need to, solo se le agrega S. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Needs to. Ya vamos a hacer algún ejemplo para que entendamos mejor. Vaya, esta parte, ok, en this part, have to, es para expresar obligación. Todas aquellas actividades que usted hace y que es una obligación para usted hacer. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, I have to go to work. Ah, tengo que ir a trabajar. So, basically that's an obligation for you, right? Entonces, básicamente, esa es una obligación ok, que está denotando. Uh -huh. Another one. I have to cook. Let's say cook. I have to cook. Ah, tengo que cocinar. Ok. Uh -huh. All right. Usando have to, right? Ahora bien, en segunda persona, you have to drive to work. Ah, tienes que conducir al trabajo. You have to drive to work. Mm. Ahora bien, ¿cuándo es en tercera persona? Check this out. She has to. Ahora ya no es have to, es has to. She has to 
send reports. She has to send reports. Ella tiene que enviar reportes. Si ve el have to, ya cambió y ahora es has to. Has, porque estamos hablando de otra persona. Exacto, estamos hablando de un singular, o sea, una tercera persona. Right? Entonces utiliza has to. Have to, uh -huh. has to. Ok. Ahora bien, ahora expresando necesidad. I need to have money. Necesito tener dinero. I need to have money. Si ve ahí, estamos expresando que una necesidad. Right? A necessity. Uh -huh. Ok, let's continue. You need to buy clothes. You need to buy clothes. Necesitas comprar ropa. Y sí, en ese caso, pues ya vamos usando la estructura. Y aparte de la estructura, el verbo principal. Ajá. Ahora en tercera persona. He needs to. He needs to prepare the class. He needs to prepare the class. Si ve acá, ya el verbo need ya lleva la S. Ok. Y solo le agrega la S. Exacto. En tercera persona solo se le agrega S. He needs to prepare the class. Ella necesita preparar la clase. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos con este need to acá? Básicamente estamos denotando necesidad. Ok. Y mientras tanto, por el otro lado, estamos demostrando o denotando básicamente, ok, a, uh, in that case, obligation. En este caso, obligación. Mm -hmm. Ok, cool. With this, any question? No sé si hay alguna pregunta con esto. a uh, Edgar, si hay algo que no, todavía no hemos comprendido. No, la verdad que ahora sí, pero digamos que estaba un poquito distraído con... Con alguien que me anda llorando aquí ya. Uh, así escucho, así escucho. Ya, yeah, mister. Ajá. Entonces, ahí estaríamos, teacher. Ah, ok, very good. So let me, let me stop sharing this part. Esa parte sería, entonces, ¿no hay ninguna otra pregunta con relación a los otros temas? Uh, ahorita, no, la verdad no. Ah, ok, cool. Con la plataforma, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Vamos bien? Hasta el momento no he hecho ni una tarea. Mañana la voy a hacer toda. Ajá, ok. Sí, es que lunes, viernes, lunes, miércoles y viernes tengo otra clase antes de esta. Ah. Ajá, es que estamos sacando ahí un pequeño diplomado y hoy me, to me toca un poco pesado. Ah. ah, no, qué bueno, eso es bueno. No es cool. Ajá, eso está genial. Sí, pero, pero mañana, mañana se las hago. Ok, perfecto, perfecto, mister. Entonces, entonces así vamos bueno. a quedar. Si no hay nada más que agregar, Edgar, que pase una feliz noche y nos vemos mañana, ok? Good night. Bueno, gracias, Eduardo. Good night. Okay, good night.